passive income. What's up, money geeks? Mr. V here. Welcome to another video, guys. So in today's video, we're gonna take a look at my dividend portfolio. We're gonna take a look and see uh, where things are. I think um, the last time I did an update uh, of my portfolio, of my specific dividend portfolio, I think that was back in February. So we have March, we have April, we have May. Um, I haven't had time to actually do an uh, update on the portfolio because I've been like shopping and trying to build a portfolio or moving stuff around and just trying to add more stocks into that portfolio. So um, and within that period, um, March specifically when we had that crash, I was so busy um, just researching and trying to find more stocks that I can add into. So I haven't had the time to really do an update. Um, but the good news is that during that period, we've been getting some dividends. So we're gonna take a look at how much we have been making in dividends um, during that period. So before we get started, it, guys if you're new to the channel we talk about how to earn money how to save money how to invest and build wealth so if that's something that interests you go ahead and hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so you don't miss out on new content so before i really go deep and really show you guys um my dividend portfolio um i want to just kind of break down something here um when i started building this portfolio back in january my goal was to get this portfolio to maybe about a hundred thousand dollars so that i can get maybe three to five thousand dollars a year um in dividend uh you no know, income but then as I, as when i started building it i, I realized that i don't just want three to five thousand dollars a year in dividend income that's not good enough for me um so i my goal now is to get this account if possible to a million dollars so that i can get say fifty thousand or sixty thousand dollars a year in dividend income this is crazy so if you get a million dollars you can just sit back Every year, you're getting fifty to sixty thousand dollars on just in dividends, not in not including the growth, which is crazy. So my now I'm actually shifting my mindset from a hundred thousand dollars is that targeting um, uh, maybe a million dollars. I know where I'm a long ways from a million dollars, but guess what? It's tax with baby steps. And so here's my advice to you out there that is getting into the stock market and trying to invest. If you are looking at starting to invest and you wanna be what I call a dividend investor, um, if you're younger, let's say 18, 19, 20, 21, up to about 25, this is a, a very good um, uh, time for you to get into the market, a very good opportunity for you to start building that wealth. Um, it, it's easier for you when you're younger to start putting money away because you have a, a whole amount of long amount of time for that money to grow uh, compared to somebody that's in their 30s or their 40s or their 50s. So the older you get, the harder it is for you to actually enjoy the growth in the market because the stock market is, it's, in my opinion, really depends on what I'll call time for people that are just average investors. I'm not talking about day traders and stuff like that because they're doing on a daily basis how they get their money. But for you, if you're investing, um, time horizon is the thing that matters to you. So you want to start early and start putting that money. So if you're 18 and you're putting just, let's say $100 a month, by the time you retire at 60, you should have at least a million dollars in your account, in that one account only. And that's just from putting $100 a month. So if you are looking at studying and you're younger, please keep the effort. Number one, make sure you get started. Number two, be consistent. Number three, pick good stocks, good dividend paying or growth stocks and put your money into those and just sit back and relax. If you don't have the time to do research on individual stocks, definitely choose some really good um, index funds that pay uh, dividends or ETFs that pay dividends and stick with them. And that definitely, not being in the market is worse than being in the market and not putting a ton of money. So for the people that have started, you are on the right track. Just keep it consistent and keep putting that money in there and you're gonna see it your life is gonna be a lot easier when you go you turn to 45 50 because you're gonna have a chunk of money sitting in there that's just growing and if you do what i call drip that dividend um, reinvestment plan 
that it's even better. So when they pay you dividends when you're younger, you're not cashing out those dividends. You're reinvesting the dividends into the account. That compounding um, effect would definitely really help you uh, grow. So I just want to put that out there. And also, if you are looking for dividend stocks that you uh, want to invest into and you're struggling, um, just let me know in the comment section. I'm going to put, I, I have a list of about 60 dividend aristocrat. So aristocrat dividends are uh, stocks that have paid and increased their dividend payout for 25 consecutive years. So those are really companies that you can't really go wrong with. So if you want me to share that with you, definitely let me know in the comment section. I might put it up on my blog so you can download it there and use it and maybe that can help you. So, all right, so let's jump into uh, the computer here and actually take a look at my dividend portfolio and see what's been happening. So let's go. All right, guys, so um, in my portfolio, um, as you can see, we're currently sitting at uh, uh, close to about $28,000. Um, because of the virus and everything, the account is currently not where it's supposed to be, in my opinion. Um, so uh, $1,500 in, in terms of gains and maybe about 15%, which is awesome. So uh, if I look up here, so far, market gain is $1,100 um, dividend and is $327 as of January. That's pretty good money. Um, and then, so my goal again, like I said, is to put money, more money in here, just let it grow. So um, the different in, uh, sectors that I have in my pie is um, I have industry, I have healthcare, I have technology, real estate, travel, energy, consumer stables, um, telecommunication, financial, um, the lunch money, that's not a sector, that's my, that's my own personal sector that I created. Um, so that I could, whatever the gains that come out of that, I use that for my own personal needs. If I have to buy new headphones and stuff like that, I'll pull money out of that. And then uh, food and drinks, that's another sector that I have. So um, you're probably looking at, hey, Mr. V, can you open those different uh, sectors so that I can see what you have? If you're looking for that, um, again, I'll put the link in the description below. You can go to my blog and you'll see all that information you see all the stocks that i own i think it's about uh, 50 stocks in in all these different sectors so go there and definitely check it out the, the purpose of this particular video today is just to show my dividend income so let's go and take a look at what has been happening so um i have to select here i just want dividends um so that's going to show us the dividends that we've had here for the past three months and specifically I want to focus on uh, let's do date range so let's start with um, I want to do let's do oh uh, let's do 3-01-2020 and then um, we'll do um, three I think three dash um, 30 dash 2020 all right so in March, um, we had, um, I know, oh, let's see. Oops, sorry. All right, so in March, we had dividends from um, my five different um, our stocks. So LTC properties, um, AVGO, um, uh, Gillette, and then IBM and IGNC. Um, a lot of you guys probably know about IGNC, which is kind of like a um, this investment trust, and they pay really good dividends. I like them. So if we look at that, so in March, um, if we add this up, I think we made um, a total of about twenty six dollars and some change, which is not bad. Um, um, not bad for just putting your money there and watching it grow. So that's that's pretty good. Twenty six dollars and some change. So Let's see what we did in, in April. So we'll change that to four and then changes to four as well. And then this should be 30. All right, so in April, um, as you can see, um, HP, Merck, um, Seagate, um, AGNC. Oh, and here's the thing though, AGNC is a monthly dividend payer, which I love. Um, if you pay monthly dividends, sign me on. I love monthly dividends. So 
Um, that's why you saw them in March, they paid uh, dividends, and then in, in, in April, they paid dividends. We'll see them again in May paying, paying us some dividends. So these are the companies that paid me dividends in um in april and um so in april if we sum that total i think i made about uh 47 dollars if you just add this up um about 70 uh 47 dollars and some change that's not bad so um that total so uh, 40 something dollars and again that is doing um, this COVID thing, which most of these companies either some of them either cut back on their dividends or some don't even pay dividends just because um, they're trying to save money um, to stay afloat during the COVID thing. So um, let's see what we have in May. So uh, go to five and this would go to five. Oops, sorry, it's five here. And let's see, May 31st. And that's not the 31st. Let's see what okay so may um so if we go all the way to may 31st this is what we've got as dividends so if you add all this up um i think we made about 70 dollars and some change and um abvi here is our biggest payout of 27 dollars and uh, 97 cents which is awesome that is good dividends and i'm thinking boy and if you see a agnc here nine dollars and some change so um, like I said, I love AGNC just for how much they pay in dividends. Um, and it's a it's a pretty cheap stock, and that's a funny thing. It's not even an expensive stock. Um, so definitely, um, if you don't have them in your portfolio, you should consider as far as that monthly dividend goes. So, um, so just for the last three months, if we add those, uh, you know, the last three months, we're, we're looking somewhere at about so seventy plus forty. That's one ten. Uh, plus 26 so looking at 140 uh, close to about 150 um, for those three months and again guys this is just dividends um, here's how I want you to approach this again your mindset should focus doing this COVID thing because um, I've actually he hear a lot of people on the channel complaining that oh oh that company has cut their dividends so I'm not gonna invest in it it's like okay if you, if you don't want to invest in the dividend paying company because they cut their dividends during the virus, I don't understand what the issue is. If a stock goes from $50 and it drops to $10 and you buy that stock at $10, if they're not paying you any dividends, you know for sure that you that the, the dividends is that you, you, you're missing out on is going to be covered by the growth that you're going to get. So if that stock moves back from $10 to say $40 or $50, look at how much growth you've got so that growth will make up for that dividends until they reinstate their dividends and then you're back on track so um again that's some a question i get from a lot of people and some people come out and and and, and talk and like if they're trying to sound smart like oh that company has stopped paying dividends so i'm like so what does that mean i shouldn't invest in that company anymore because they stopped paying dividends that's not the case so it, it basically um it, I, okay, if you look at just just so you guys see what I'm talking here, if you look at the name of my portfolio here, it's actually say growth and income. So the growth path is I'm buying stocks that are undervalued, hoping that they would grow. At the same time, I'm buying undervalued stocks that are dividend paying stocks. So I'll get my growth from the, the fact that the stocks are undervalued, then I'll get my income from the fact that they're paying dividends like what we're talking about right now. So um, cash on hand right now, I have $21, which I'm gonna uh, put back in the market tomorrow or as soon as the market opens. Um, it, I hate sitting on cash like that. I need to deploy that cash and just, just get it working. So um, that's it and that's my portfolio. And again, guys, um, I, I keep adding, as soon as I get my monthly paycheck, I keep adding more to this, this position um, and just trying to grow it and reinvesting all the dividends I'm getting into the portfolio just so that it keeps growing and um, hopefully uh, get to the goal of $100,000 as soon as possible. And then we said the next goal that I've set again is a million dollars. So let's go. Um, that's it guys. So question of the day, what do you think about the portfolio? Do you invest in dividends? Um, one other thing that I wanted to mention to you guys, um, and I know I'm, I'm saying this at the very end of the video, is just a simple fact that um, right now I'm using M1 for my dividend portfolio. Um, eventually, I would have to switch 
from M1 to Weibo. Um, and I'm gonna do a separate video to kind of explain to you guys why I'm going that route. Um, I'm gonna move all these, these uh, I know M1 looks nice and has all those, those pies that I enjoy, but I'm gonna move all my asset to Weibo um, for some important reasons. And I'm pretty sure once I explain the reason to you guys, you guys are gonna wanna do it as well. So um, I'm, again, if you are interested in uh, you know opening a Weibo account, I'm, I'm gonna put a link in the description below. Uh, if you open an account today uh, or using that link, you get two stocks, not one, but two. So the first stock would value from like, I think $3 to $250. And then your second stock would go from $12 to $1,500. So definitely uh, click that link, check them out and take advantage and get some free stocks, guys. And again, free is free. And if you don't even wanna use Weibo, go get the free stocks and move them over to whichever platform that you, you like the best. Again, guys, if you're new to the channel, we talk about how to earn money, how to save money, how to invest and build wealth. So if that's something that interests you, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so you don't miss out on new content. And as always, guys, stay motivated.